Well, actually, you make me think, Brad, I have a buddy who said, you know, Rob, you're like one of those old movies that everybody remembers and you just can't quite remember what it's about. <laughs> so uh, so tell me about yourself. You're, you're an Idaho native. I am. I was uh, fifth generation. I was born in Pocatello. Got it. And then I uh, moved to Boise when I was 12. And, and then and after that, after high school, was gone for parts unknown. Uh, but yes, I started a fashion company in 1976 in my parents' garage in Boise. And in about, oh, I'd say maybe, well, the first year I was selling Bloomingdale's in New York, which was crazy because I would go to the Bon yeah. Marche at night and I would pick up the boxes that they would throw away and they'd go up to my parents' garage, <laughs> peel off the label and with a marking pin, put my logo on the box and oh, you know, wow. ship my product out. It was crazy, Jackie. Yeah, That's it was awesome, times. though. But what a great story for entrepreneurs out there, yeah, you know, to give yeah. them some inspiration. That's very cool. Yeah, all you got to be is mercifully free from the ravages of intelligence. <laughs> 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 that is fantastic. Well, it obviously it grew from there, and uh, and uh, now you're based out of uh, you're in New York mostly, but in you're New everywhere. York. Well, too. it's funny because people say, "Where do you live?" I go, "My body's in New York, but my spirit's in Idaho." Yeah, so. and a little nomadic too. I mean, you're doing all sorts of stuff all over the place. Well, I've had a great opportunity. Kind of my my inspiration. That's another thing. Funny people say, "What's your inspiration?" I go, "The calendar." Actually, if you need to know. <laughs> okay. But but the real inspiration I've drawn from has been the opportunity I've had to do expeditions around the world, and I've been in Papua New Guinea and Outer Mongolia and canoed down the Amazon headwaters and, wow. and Greenland and, you know, done things like that, which, which I love. That blows the carbon out. But it also, I love, you know, like you two, right? I mean, we live here in Idaho and love the smell of the sage after the rainfall. And so nature really inspires me. All right. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. So Comstock, let's talk about the event. It, it has some history and it's, it's basically, it's back. It is, Brad. Uh, it's a sale I did for about 12 years in a row, and we would always hold it at the Expo uh, grounds, the, you, the Idaho Fairgrounds, mm -hmm. uh, down on Chinon Boulevard in Boise. Mm -hmm. And we will be running the sale for the first time in 13 years, and it will start tomorrow at 11 in the morning mm -hmm. and go till 9 at night, and we'll run also uh, Friday and Saturday from 9 until 9. And at the sale, we'll have uh, the Robert Comstock product, which is cashmere sweaters, leather jackets. I'm known mainly for my leather outerwear, but we have beautiful leather and shirling jackets. And these are jackets that are, that are typically retail around $3,000, and they'll be at sale for $499, $299 at wow. the sale. Wow, great. We'll have cashmere sweaters that are $600 on sale for like $99. That makes my heart beat faster. Yeah. I'm like a woman, I'm like, oh, it's a sale. I have to go. And here I thought it was just I, Jackie. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, and we'll have, uh, you know, uh, yarn dyed uh, woven shirts that are 175 retail for $29.99. Wow. Now, wow. what's kind of fun, we're, we're billing it as Robert Comstock and Friends Cell because we're bringing in U.S. Army, and the front person for that is Dwayne Johnson, or The Rock, as he's known. Mm -hmm. So we have this great big... We'll have videos going of The Rock promoting this collection, and we have a huge banners. When you walk in the fairgrounds, it's pretty cool. Uh, you'll see banners of, uh, of, of different models wearing my product, the U.S. Army product. And then we're bringing Jackie for you and, and all the females who are listening. We have two designers, Catherine Malandrino, mm -hmm. who is a very high, and she's French, actually. And she does designs. Uh, we have some pieces, actually, from her vault that were done for Beyonce. Uh, beautiful cocktail dresses, evening wear, really cool stuff. But that's very inexpensive. Nice. I mean, at the sale. Mm -hmm. And then we have Joan Voss, which is, and we have product that's currently selling in Neiman Marcus right now. And so it'll be in, in Neiman Marcus. So I can say this because we're in Twin Falls, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so, so it's in Neiman Marcus right now for $400. At the sale, it'll be like, Oh, maybe sixty nine dollars. Wow! Right. So You're it's still, this Jackie, at the exact right? yeah. same yeah. moment. I love this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's good. I would. Uh, and then the the real key part about this is that we always use the cell as a vehicle to raise money for the Peregrine Fund, and I've had the great opportunity to be on their board of directors for twenty four years. Now, the Peregrine Fund or the World Center for Birds of Prey, as most listeners probably know, is is Idaho based. Mm -hmm. Where we've worked in over. 100 different countries since it started in the early 70s. It's 
fully responsible for bringing the peregrine falcon back from the brink of extinction to the point that it's off the endangered species list. And that's in a, you know, about a 25 year time span. So when people say, what can I do for conservation in my life really? A lot. Mm-hmm. So, nice. and we're dealing with, uh, with uh, we, all the release in the Grand Canyon of the California condor is all bred there in, in, uh, in the center. And we've got birds of prey from all over the world. So that's really cool. That's very cool. All right. Cool. So it's starting tomorrow, going on through tomorrow, Friday and Saturday in Boise, right, right there at the fairgrounds. Correct. Right? And Brad, if I may, yes, please. The, the other beneficiary is the, uh, is the VA hospital. And when I, the administrator of the hospital is a friend of mine, and I went to them, I said, listen, we're bringing U.S. Army in, so it's a natural connection here with you. And I said, where would you like fundraising to come about or what, what, what area of the hospital? And she said, you know something, our returning younger vets that come back that maybe have been caught in a crossfire or firefight in Afghanistan or wherever, and now they have a disability. I mean, they lived in Idaho, they rock climb, they golf, they fly fish, they mountain bike. And so we can get them rehabilitated, but after that point, they can't go back to their sports. So they lose their identity. And so now through what's called adaptive sports equipment, uh, we'll be purchasing mono skis and, and adaptive sports equipment for cycling and rock climbing and oh, wow. How cool golf, is that? everything To give them else. their life back. That's awesome. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that is so cool. Thank you for being with us today. Robert Comstock, We, if you're listening to any of this and saying, hey, I missed a little bit, it's not a problem. Just go online to kezj.com. We have links to everything that you've got going on in Boise. So cool. thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you.